All right, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to be doing right now is finding the area of a regular polygon. If you don't remember what a regular polygon is, um, a regular polygon is a polygon where all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal. So it makes it nice for finding their areas. Okay, that's my phone. Don't worry about that. All right, so say we got this uh, square little guy right here. And we got that square, and then we know the distance from the center to one of the um, angles is 8. All right, well... To find the area, we are going to have to find, um, we essentially have to find the area of this triangle right here, right there. We're going to use this triangle because phew, we can get a right triangle out of it. And guess what? Right triangles, they work because you can find stuff on right triangles because we can do Sokotoa. Sokotoa. All right. Now, this little guy right here is called the apothem. Okay. And I'm sure there's formulas for this, so I'm going off memory. So... Bear with me. Got that, Aaron? Yeah, I'm talking to you, Aaron. All right, so here we go. Um, we need to find the measure of that right there, okay? Because if we can find that, and then if we can find that, we have the base and the height of a triangle. And then what we'll do is we'll just cut this sucker into sections and then find all these. Make sense? Goody gumdrops. Okay, so um, what we need to do, we have a side measure, and we know the right angle. We just need some. We need something else. We need more than this, so we can do oh, Sokotoa. All right, now you can find this angle measure. You know why? Because you have a square here. You know that from the center, if we're doing a complete circle, that's 360 degrees, correct? Well, you know that you can split this into four pieces, so that'll be 360 divided by four, which is 90 degrees on each one of these. But this little guy is not 90 degrees, is it? No. We cut one of these 90 degree things right here in half. So therefore this angle right here is 45 degrees. Now, when it starts getting messy in here, I like to take this triangle and move it out. See that? I make it bigger. It's easier to see. Everybody's happy. Especially me. <laughs> Rhyming. Okay, and then we know that's 8, and then that's 45 degrees. Now, if that's 45 degrees, and that's 90 degrees, we know this is 45 degrees, which, <sighs> thank you, Mr. Right Triangle, we can do our special right triangle thing, okay? So, therefore, in a special, in a 45, 45, 90, you know that it's like X and X and X radical 2, okay? That means if we want to go from here to here, we can do... Well, let's see, from here to here would mean we multiply it by radical 2. So if we're going from the hypotenuse over here, we're dividing by radical 2. So we got to do 8 divided by radical 2, which would be 8 over radical 2, which is not what you want because you don't want a radical on the bottom. So we can go ahead and get rid of that now. I think that'd be for the best. So we do 8 radical 2. We want to multiply it by whatever the bottom one is because 2 times 2 is 4. What's radical 4? Well, that's positive 2. That's why we multiply it by whatever it is, because that means it's going to get out of there. And then this will just be multiplied and be 8 radical 2. So we can actually simplify this some more. What's 8 divided by 2? 4. I know, this little chunk seems complicated, but it's not as bad as you think. It's just kind of complicated. Okay? Okay. Now, we know, I'm going to draw my triangle, what I know of it. I know this is 8. We don't really care. Um, this is 45, this is 45. The big thing is I found the apothem, which is the part that goes, remember, from the middle straight down in a 90 degree angle, which ours is 4 radical 2. Okay, now, you still need to find this, but guess what? Usually you would have to do like a Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, to find that third, third side length. Well, you're in luck now because it's a 45, 45, 90, which means the opposite sides are equal for radical 2. Okay? So, now, in the scope of our larger picture, I know, I know, please don't be confused or scared. Okay? In the scope of our larger picture, we found out this right here is 4 radical 2. We found this right here is 4 radical 2. If we can find the area of this triangle right here, we can just multiply it by however many triangles there are. And that would help us find the answer. Okay? So, to do the formula for area of a triangle, base times height divided by 2. Which this would count as your base. I'm sorry, your height or your base. We're going to say that's our height because it's prettier. And that's your base. 
So we got to multiply them. So it's 4 radical 2 times 4 radical 2 over 2, correct? So 4 times 4 is 16. Radical 2 times radical 2 is radical 4 over 2. What's radical 4? That's 2, because the square root of 4 is 2. So it'll be 2 times our 16, which is 32. Still divided by 2, which is 16. So our area of this little fella right here is 16, correct? Correct, it is. Okay, now that's just one of our triangles, okay? How many do we have here? We've got this one, then we've got this one, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight triangles in there. So we just take our 16, multiply it times eight. 16 times eight, which would be six times eight is 48, plus eight times 10 is 80, so it'll be 128, correct? I hope so. That'd be 128 millimeters squared, because I forgot to tell you, this is millimeters. Haha, <laughs> M. Not Shyamalan. Surprise ending! And that's the answer, everybody. Thank you so much. Hey, that's, 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 that's the end. If you want, subscribe. And if you could, uh, just search Tyler Tarver on any social media, and I would appreciate you just hanging out with me. That's what's up. Subscribe! Tell your friends. What? Okay, thanks. Bye.